Prime Minister Narendra Modi said that development must return to Uttar Pradesh. Addressing a rally in Fatehpur, the Prime Minister said that the country is moving ahead at a fast pace and Uttar Pradesh must do so as well. Recalling Sardar Vallabhai Patel's ideologies, he said that had the previous government implemented his guidelines, the fate of our country would have been different. In Uttar Pradesh, polling in 69 constituencies spread over 12 districts in the third phase began at 7 a.m. and will continue till 5 in the evening. Around 2 crore 41 lakh voters, including over 1 crore 10 lakh women and 1,028 third gender, will decide the political fate of 826 candidates. An FIR has been filed against DMQ working president MK Stalin, his party MLAs, MPs and cadres for holding a protest at Marina Beach against the alleged attack on him and his MLAs during the trust vote in the Assembly. The Goods and Services Tax Governing Council held in Udaipur has cleared the law for compensating states for loss of revenue after GST is implemented. Union Finance Minister Arun Jaitley said that it will be taken to Parliament in the second half of the budget session next month. It has also been decided that the next meeting of the Council will be held on the 4th and the 5th of March at New Delhi. ISRO has said it has successfully tested its indigenously developed cryogenic upper stage for GSLV MK3. It said the cryogenic stage, designated as C25, was tested for a flight duration of 640 seconds at ISRO Propulsion Complex at Mahindragiri in Tirunelveli, district of Tamil Nadu. Feeding by example, Swaj Bharat Mission Secretary Parmesh Swaran Iyer lowered himself into a toilet pit in a Telangana village to clean it. Iyer was part of a delegation consisting of over a dozen top bureaucrats who travelled by bus from Hyderabad to a village in Warangal district. The Indian Navy's second sailboat Tarani was inducted in a glittering ceremony at INS Mandavi Boat Pool on Saturday. Admiral Sunil Lamba, Chief of Naval Staff, along with other senior naval officers were present at the historic induction. Minister of State for Skill Development and Entrepreneurship Independent Charge Rajiv Pratap Rudi today said the government this year has given Padma Awards to people from all walks of life, which was earlier restricted to representation from Delhi. The minister today launched Skill Development Program in Hyderabad and felicitated Padma Award winners. The birth anniversary of Maratha warrior King Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj is being observed today. In a tweet, Prime Minister Narendra Modi paid tribute to him and said that India is proud that a valorous and great soul like him was born on our land. Bhojpuri actor Ravi Kishan has joined the Bharatiya Janata Party. The actor formally joined the party today in the presence of BJP President Amit Shah.